I'm joined by Judy Belcher of Fire Mountain Gems and Beads, and Judy is going to show us how to create a polymer clay cabochon. That's right. The technique where I'm using today is called Mokume Gane. Okay. It's an ancient <laughs> metalsmithing technique that oh. the samurai swordsmen used to make their swords stronger. So they would uh, meld pieces of metal together, mm -hmm. and then because of the pattern that was formed by doing that, when they formed the swords, it gave it a very interesting pattern. And it's a great thing to do with polymer clay. Okay. Let's get started. Great. So I've taken orange, white, and magenta clay, mm -hmm. and we're going to stack them just like they did with the metal. So we're going to put them right on top of each other. These are very thin mm -hmm. pieces of clay. Now, how did you get them so thin? Did you? I used the pasta machine. Maker. Yeah, I'm going to use machine. that right now because I want these to be even thinner. So by running them, I've got them stacked, and by running them through the pasta machine, and you want to start on a medium setting and get thinner and thinner and thinner. So you'll just adjust your pasta machine, mm -hmm. and then oh. run it through again, and then adjust the pasta machine till we get a nice thin layer like this. And how many times approximately? Uh, it'll go through four more times four from more times. A, a medium setting getting thinner four more times. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to cut it into thirds, and then we're going to add a little metal embellishment by adding some metal leaf to it. Oh. Now this metal leaf flies around all over the place, so I cheated and got them <laughs> ready right here. Hey, that's good. So let's move that one over. Okay. So you just place this, the square right on top of it? Right. Mm -hmm. And then make sure you rub it in to get all those air pockets out. Oh, that's and a good then point. we're going to stack those right on top of each other until we get a three stack just like this. So this is three stack this time mm -hmm. with the metal in between. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to add our texture. So you can use any rubber stamp that has some deep embellishment, mm -hmm. but you want to give it a spritz of water so it won't stick to the clay. Oh, yes. So I'm going to spritz that. Because so. then you'd have to start all over uh, again. That's right. We don't want to <laughs> do that. So you just spritz it with a little water. Now I'm going to stand up because you want even firm pressure mm -hmm. on this. So, so you can get it right the me. first time. That's right. We want it to be right the first time. So I'm going to stand up and press down with my acrylic rod right on that stamp. Yay. Oh, look at that. It worked. But that's not the beautiful part. When you take your razor blade and shave off just everything that's raised. Let me hold that for you. Yeah, you might have to. I okay. thought the table was going to hold it. You get this beautiful pattern oh, underneath. Oh, my goodness. And you can even use the scraps. On, on the other pieces. side. Isn't that beautiful? So we're just going to shave all that That is off. incredible. And the beauty of this too is if I use the magenta side mm -hmm. with this example, but look what happens after you shave it all off. You've got the magenta, but if I flip that over and did the same thing on the orange side, yeah. look how different it looks. Unbelievable. All with the same amount of clay. Now, if you'll hand me the next steps, I'll show you how to make that cabochon. I'm in awe. <laughs> <laughs> this is gorgeous. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take our decorated sheet, mm -hmm. and we're going to put it on top of just a thick setting mm -hmm. of the magenta clay. Okay. Now, here's an easy way to bevel your clay. We want nice, pretty edges. Mm -hmm. So I've just taken some saran wrap, and I'm just going to rub it in, and an ordinary cookie cutter. Okay. So is this wax paper? No, or? it's because uh, you it's don't more want the plastic, wax. Yeah. So it's more plastic right, paper. Like okay. a saran wrap or something like that. Okay. And then just using your cookie cutter, if you press down in, and then we're going to take that off. And when I peel all this away, you have those beautiful beveled edges. Oh, look at that. Much better than just doing a straight cookie mm -hmm. cutter. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to use the Hill Tribe Silver. It has these beading loops in it. Polymer clay artists are always looking for a way to attach things yes. without <laughs> using an adhesive. Yeah. And so these little beading loops are perfect for that because you can insert just little scrap pieces of polymer clay like I've done here. So I'm going to reach around here. And that's and what's going that to... Right. That's what's going to hold it because when it's baked, okay. that will all become solid. So this will adhere to this without right. having to use glue. That's oh, right. Oh my goodness, that's Brilliant. wonderful. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to place our cabochon right on top of there, and then so it's press basically it in. clay adhering to clay. That's right, and mm -hmm. so that will keep a firm bond. And then I just use a regular piece of typing paper, and I'll flip it over. And by pressing it down, it gives us a nice top with no fingerprints, because we don't like fingerprints no. either. And then you'll place that in the oven right on the tile at 275 okay, degrees. that's going to be my next question. Right, <laughs> for about 30 minutes. And uh -huh. there's your beautiful cabochon. Look at that. 
That is terrific. I know. I love this project. <laughs> I do too. Now, can you use different shapes of um, um, of the styles and different silver? Okay. Absolutely. It comes in a variety of different shapes. All of them with the beading loop squares, long pieces. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. And then you also brought along uh, some other examples of some different types of ways that you can use right. this. Right. Okay. Remember earlier when we did the polymer clay caning? Mm -hmm. Those are all done with that caning technique. Oh, so you can use that for this oh, too. Oh, any polymer clay technique will work with this. Those are fantastic. Judy, these are terrific. Thanks. Thank you so much. You know, I, this is, makes polymer clay so easy to me. Good. I'm glad. Yeah, a rubber stamp, a cookie cutter, some wax paper, and you're there. And you're there. Yeah. Thank you so much, Judy. Okay.